Hello, this is Clint with Clint's Permaculture Garden. I want to take just a minute of your time to show you a cover crop because I think this is really cool. I've got a good friend, Chip, in Mississippi who is really surprised about what happened. Now, it's getting into October. About three weeks ago, I started putting these cover crops in. I'm using groundhog tillage to get organic matter in these new beds. They're radishes. They, they, they're really long radishes. They're, they're, they're short-lived. I'll be able to get the tops and feed it to the ducks and chickens. I've also got hairy vetch and Australian pea inside of here. So that's what the cover crop mix is. But inside the beds, you know, I just kind of cleaned out the, the grass. And what I'm trying to do is get rid of the Bermuda grass, which is AKA Satan grass as far as I'm concerned. But I've learned it's better to shade it than to fight it. So I'm gonna start going more and more into cover crops all year long every open space I've got. I'm just gonna to try to have canopy above ground to get rid of this grass. But I'm throwing it in here, and as you scatter the radish seeds and stuff, a lot of it fell out on the grass. And just by falling on the grass, look how much of this came up. And that's just where a little bit where I'm throwing it ends up out here. And this is what Chip was amazed at. I'm like, you don't have to till, you don't have to drill. You don't have to do anything. You just throw it on grass and you've got organic matter going into it if that's what you want it to do. Now I'm gonna leave it here because it's not gonna hurt anything. But think how easy that is. If you, if you get excited or tore up about all the do's and don'ts when it comes to different planting, plants wanna live. You give them a chance to live and they'll live. By, by scattering this seed, I'm gonna have a tremendous amount of nitrogen and organic matter in here and I've got some other stuff I'll show you on a, another video where I'm starting new beds in the lawn. Just scalp the lawn, throw the cover crops in the grass, put a, a very light coat of compost all over them, and, it, and I'm gonna have beds there next spring, and I'm putting tons of nitrogen and organic matter in the sod with no tilling, no, no cardboard, no anything, just putting them in there. But just by throwing these in the grass, and these are the tillage radishes, and it looks like a couple of the, the peas are coming up, but it's mostly the radishes. They just seem to be throwing them in the grass and they're just as happy as they were when they were on soil.